At the beginning of the film, we see one of our main characters, Olivia, leaving a cafe with her boyfriend, Antonio. He senses that she's not her usual self, so he asks her what's the matter. She starts talking about the sunk cost fallacy relative to romantic relationships. Eventually, she cuts to the chase and breaks up with Antonio. His heart is not the only thing that breaks, because seconds later, a piano falls on top of him, knocking him unconscious. In the next scene, the other main character, Mario, is heading home with his girlfriend. She's excited to book a flight to New York, since she's wanted to travel with Mario for a long time. Mario pretends to be excited, but deep inside, he's not a fan of traveling. Before she can purchase tickets, Mario smacks the phone from her hands and breaks up with her just like that. Going back to Olivia, we see her inside the ambulance with the unconscious Antonio. The paramedics explain the severity of Antonio's injuries. Olivia makes an insensitive remark. She's thankful that she managed to break up with Antonio before he fell unconscious, otherwise, she might have been his girlfriend for who knows how long. This results in Olivia getting kicked out of the ambulance, and rightly so. Seconds later, she buys a pack of beers from a passing stranger. Going back to Mario, we see his ex-girlfriend walking out of the apartment building. Mario then proceeds to rent a bike and ride it while intoxicated. Meanwhile, Olivia finishes drinking, and this is when she crosses paths with the drunk man and Mario. She then stops in front of a house party and starts singing. Mario looks back and notices Olivia making a fool out of herself. Mario then decides that the best next move is to bump into Olivia. After falling to the ground, Olivia's response surprises Mario. She asks him to have dinner with her, instead of getting mad. She believes that if they end up together, the story of how they meet will be one of a kind. Mario can't help but be amazed by her logic. The next day, we see Mario having breakfast and talking to his friend Augusto. Mario's friend warns him about going on a date with Olivia. He enumerates all of Mario's failed relationships, thinking that he's going to dive into another one that will fail. Mario has a feeling the outcome will be different with Olivia. Fast forward to the dinner date, it's apparent that Olivia and Mario have very different tastes. She's not a fan of Mario's line of work, which is stand-up comedy. Mario corrects her every time she calls his job monologuing. Likewise, he shows disinterest when Olivia reveals that she's a theater actress that prefers to indulge in more serious forms of storytelling. It's obvious that their ideals are clashing. Fortunately, the date is salvaged when Mario plays a prank on the waitress. They pretend to dine and dash, but when the waitress catches up to them, Mario reveals that he already paid the bill. Olivia laughs, and the two finally find something they've got in common, which is their twisted sense of humor. Out of the blue, Olivia mentions a line from the movie Annie Hall. She talks about how it's best to kiss after the first date, so there is no awkwardness moving forward. Unfortunately, Mario doesn't get the hint. They instead agree to watch the movie on their next date. During a stand-up comedy performance, Mario mentions that he and Olivia watched a lot of movies together. He also mentions that even after several dates, they still haven't kissed. In the next scene, Mario is at Olivia's apartment playing a drinking game with her. Each of them takes turns guessing whether the other person is drinking vodka or water. It turns out that all of the shot glasses contain vodka, which results in both of them getting plastered. After Mario leaves, both of them feel frustrated, wondering why they haven't kissed each other yet after so many dates. This is when Mario decides to call Olivia and pretend that he left his phone at the apartment. Olivia realizes what Mario is trying to do, so she plays along. When Olivia opens her door to see Mario, they summon the courage to finally kiss each other and more. They end up sleeping together, with peaceful expressions on their faces. When Mario wakes up, he tells Olivia that he's going to Valencia for a gig. When she tells him that she's from Valencia, he invites her to come with him. Olivia agrees, since it's been a while since she has seen her parents. In the next scene, Olivia and Mario arrive at Valencia. Before splitting up, he tells her not to bring her parents to the show. He fears his performance may leave a bad impression on them. It's not surprising that Olivia does what Mario tells her not to do. She brings her parents to his show, and they hear him make some sexual jokes. Fortunately, the parents find him funny. In fact, Olivia's parents believe that he is the best boyfriend that their daughter has ever had. They express this during dinner at their home. After dinner, Olivia invites Mario to her childhood bedroom. When they get there, she immediately pounces on him. He's afraid that it would be rude to make love when her parents might hear them. Fortunately, Olivia's father reassures them from upstairs that they can do whatever they want. Later that night, Mario and Olivia go for a walk outside. They stumble upon an abandoned cat in the dumpster. Mario can't believe someone would abandon such a cute animal. He suggests that they adopt the cat. This is when Olivia points out that one of them will be the guardian. Otherwise, they must live together if they both want to adopt it. When the two return to Olivia's room, they start talking about what to name the cat. Olivia suggests naming it Schrodinger, then she explains the origin of such a name. Mario thinks they shouldn't give the cat such a complicated name. When Olivia asks for an alternative, Mario fails to come up with one. In the next scene, Olivia and Mario are sharing new ideas related to their line of work. Olivia suddenly sees the cat drinking from Mario's favorite mug. 
The couple tries calling the cat by its name, but it doesn't respond. The cat only stops and looks when they utter the phrase, my love. Unfortunately, even after catching its attention, the cat still knocks the mug off the table. When Olivia goes to the bathroom, she spots a plastic spider on the floor. Mario thinks she'll scream, but all she does is laugh at him for his futile attempt at a prank. However, when she enters the bathtub, she finally screams. There are more toy spiders in the tub, ones that look realistic. This is just a glimpse of their strange relationship dynamic. There's even a point when Olivia pours water on Mario when he's singing outside her apartment. In the next scene, Olivia drags Mario to watch a theater play where the actors are after the play, Olivia and Mario have a disagreement outside of the theater regarding the quality of the story. Mario thinks it's boring, but Olivia believes that he just doesn't see the true value of such a performance. Moments later, one of the actors, Eva, exits the theater and greets Olivia. We find out they are good friends. The other actor, Matt, greets Olivia with a hug and a kiss on the forehead. Mario doesn't say anything, but he has a jealous expression. The four of them go out for dinner. At one point, Olivia mentions wanting to go to the Taj Mahal. Mario points out that there is no need to do so, since there are a lot of documentaries online about it. He even goes as far as to point out some disturbing facts about the building. Matt then counters by revealing that he wrote his play about the Taj Mahal, as a tribute to his deceased friend. The entire table laughs, just as Mario starts feeling bad about his prior comments. Matt is just messing with Mario. The next scene takes place in an amusement park. Mario tells Olivia that she should never let him know if she ever decides to have an affair. When Olivia agrees, Mario corrects her and explains some hard-to-follow logic about false reassurance and whatnot. After that confusing exchange, Mario points to a nearby roller coaster, stating that he'd never ride something like that. Seconds later, the couple is riding the roller coaster. Mario freaks out during the entire ride. After the ride, Mario says something that catches Olivia off guard. He tells her he wants to break up. Mario explains that he's not good at long-term relationships. He wants to experience the feeling of meeting a new woman. Everyone around them watches as Mario breaks Olivia's heart. Just when the tears start coming out of Olivia's eyes, Mario reveals that he's only acting. Everyone watching the scene leaves. Olivia immediately gets her revenge by asking the one in charge of the roller coaster to start the ride again. Later that day, Olivia surprises Mario by telling him she will temporarily replace Eva for that night's play. This means she will be naked with Matt on stage. Despite Mario acting supportive, based on his sarcastic remarks, it's easy to tell that he's feeling slight jealousy. This becomes apparent when he rejects Olivia's invitation to watch the play. In the next scene, Olivia feels nervous in the dressing room. Matt is also there, massaging her shoulders and offering some advice to calm her nerves. The producers inform them that only one person has arrived to watch the show, and they already left. As a result, the play is cancelled for the evening. Olivia decides to go to Mario's stand-up performance. When she arrives, she sees him making a joke about how most couples eventually break up, no matter how good the relationship is. This makes Olivia anxious, so she decides to leave. When Mario goes back to Olivia's apartment, he sees her holding the cat. When he asks what's wrong, she admits to contemplating breaking up. Olivia points out that the joke Mario made earlier made her think such thoughts. Mario reassures her that that was only a joke and nothing more. He tries hard to convince her that they should stay together. This is when Olivia reveals that she is only messing with Mario and isn't actually contemplating a breakup. Just when the situation seems calm, one statement turned everything around. Olivia claims that Mario can't leave her because he can't live without the cat. Mario doesn't take this statement well, so he starts arguing with her about who has the right to claim the cat if they ever split up. He points out that there are lawyers that specialize in pet custody. Olivia once again claims that they will never fight over the cat, because they will never split up. The next day, we find out that Mario and Olivia have broken up. They are at the lawyer's office to discuss how to split custody of the cat. They agree that they exchange custody of the cat whenever the season changes. Since it's summer, Mario gets to keep the cat first. We get a glimpse of him moving out of Olivia's apartment, taking the cat with him. Fast forward to a few months, and we see Olivia holding the cat while watching Mario's stand-up show on the television. Mario barges in without knocking, because he's there to pick up the cat. Olivia argues with him, calling him out for his rude behavior. During the argument, we see the cat sneaking out of the apartment through the door that Mario left slightly ajar. The ex-lovers panic as they realize that the cat is missing. Outside, Olivia and Mario are putting Miss posters on the wall. Since the cat's name is my love, the posters say, lost my love, which Mario finds awkward to read. He starts explaining how the poster could have been designed better. Olivia stops him and asks if he talks about their breakup during his stand-up performances. He admits that he does, because comedians often use real-life events as material for jokes. Later that night, while at a restaurant, Mario receives a call from two ladies. They inform him that they've found his cat. He rushes to a store and finds the cat in the arms of Mabel and Marion. Mario thanks them for calling him, and while there, he also buys a ring. 
With a ring in hand and the cat in a basket, Mario heads to Olivia's apartment with the intention of proposing to her. When she arrives, Olivia is shocked and asks why he didn't call first. Seconds later, he realizes why she's reacting that way. Mario sees Matt in the apartment, getting dressed. Mario finds out that Matt and Olivia are going to get married. Olivia clarifies that she's marrying Matt so he can get Spanish citizenship. She also apologizes for not telling him soon enough, because she couldn't find the right time. Mario can't wrap his head around it, so he comes off as rude when asking for more details about Matt and Olivia's relationship. Olivia changes the subject in the heat of the argument, and asks why Mario is there. He tells her that he found their cat, but instead of showing Olivia where it is, he tells her that it's deceased. Olivia cries after hearing the news, and Mario storms out of the apartment, throwing the ring at a nearby trash bin. The next scene takes place at the civil register office. We see Olivia and Matt talking to the Spanish equivalent of a county clerk. They are being bombarded with personal questions, ones that are intended to determine how well they know each other. Olivia answers the questions, but includes some unnecessary intimate details out of spite. In the next sequence of scenes, we see Mario thriving in his career. He's booking larger venues for his stand-up comedy performances. At one point, we see a man named Ernesto listening to Mario's comedy special on his laptop. His earphones aren't plugged in, so Olivia walks over and tells him about it. We also get a glimpse of a ticket to a new theater play that Olivia is a part of. In the next scene, Mario is at a salon, being interviewed by a reporter. He is distracted by the ticket he's holding, contemplating whether he should go watch Olivia perform. Later that night, Olivia finishes performing in her new play. Her co-actor, Raul, goes off script for the last line, which causes the audience to laugh for the first time. Still, the play is a success by Olivia's standards. The next day, we see Mario looking at Olivia's latest post on Facebook. Suddenly, Milov walks on the keypad, accidentally tapping the like button on the post. Meanwhile, at the cafe, Olivia hears the notification sound. She is surprised to see that Mario liked her post. Seconds later, Olivia looks at Ernesto, wanting to know what he thinks of the new play she wrote. He tells her frankly that the characters in the story are childish idiots. Still, he believes it's a good story that is worthy of winning awards. He's excited to direct the play that is based on Olivia's relationship with Mario. In the next scene, Ernesto is giving directions to Olivia and Raul before the rehearsal begins. When rehearsal starts, Olivia notices how bad Raul is at delivering his lines. She then asks to pause for a moment and approaches Ernesto. By just looking at her expression, Ernesto understands what she's trying to say. He tells her that he'll find someone to replace Raul before going out for a smoke break. Outside, Ernesto bumps into a talent agent named Danny, and they get acquainted while smoking. Ernesto finds out that Danny works for Mario, so he jumps at the opportunity to ask if Mario would be willing to star in a play. He gives the script to Danny, unaware of Olivia and Mario's past, which is the inspiration for the play. Later, when Danny arrives at Mario's place, they discuss a potential show that he can star in. Danny also mentions Ernesto's play, but dismisses it, thinking that Mario wouldn't be interested. Surprisingly, Mario tells the agent that he'd love to be in a play, just for a change of pace. Mario is shocked when he sees the title of the script, and the play's author. In the next scene, Oliva and Raul are practicing their lines, and he struggles with pronouncing a lot of the words in the script. This is when Mario arrives and recites the lines from memory flawlessly. Olivia is baffled by her ex-boyfriend's presence. Moments later, we see them arguing intensely at the back of the theater. Mario points out all of the inaccuracies in the script, because he believes that Olivia is intentionally making him look bad. However, However, she reminds him that he does the same with his stand-up performances, her script is no different. After the heated debate, Mario walks out, declaring that he will play the male lead role. Meanwhile, Olivia tells Ernesto to not allow Mario back into the theater. Later, Mario complains to Augusto about Olivia's play. Then two attractive women approach Mario asking to take pictures with them. They also invite him to join them at a party, but Mario declines, since he has to wake up early. However, Augusto convinces Mario to change his mind. Meanwhile, Ernesto finally convinces Olivia to let Mario play the lead role, since they'll be able to secure a bigger venue if a famous person like Mario is involved. The next morning, Danny sees Mario still sleeping in bed with one of the ladies he met last night. Since Mario is late for his rehearsal, Danny pours water on him, and this is when we see that there are four people in his bed. It seems Mario had a wild night. Mario arrives at the rehearsal still hungover, thus, his performance is not the best. It also takes him some time to adjust his delivery, since he's not accustomed to speaking without a mic. In the following scenes, Mario starts becoming better at his delivery. After all, he's reciting a script that is based on actual events in his life. When Mario forgets to project his voice, Ernesto and the other people in the theater remind him. The cleaning lady even gives him pointers on how to deliver loudly. During a flashback scene, we see Mario and Olivia dancing to loud music, which ends with them kissing on the floor. When they recreate this scene on stage, they get swept away by the passion of the scene. After the rehearsal, Mario talks to Olivia in private. 
He wants to tell her that the cat is still alive. However, before he can reveal the truth, Olivia tells him that she is still getting married to Matt. Upon hearing this, Mario decides to withhold the truth longer. Mario decides to be petty and asks Eva to come to his house to help him with some lines. He makes sure that Olivia hears him doing this. Eva accepts Mario's invitation. Later that night, Mario's line rehearsal with Eva turns into something else as they passionately kiss each other. At one point, while Eva is on top of Mario, the cat keeps looking at the woman's butt, checking for tattoos. It seems like the cat is angry that Mario is sleeping with someone else. Meanwhile, in a different scene, Olivia and Matt are getting asked dumb questions by the marriage official again. Olivia gets tired of it, so she delivers a speech about how it's her right to love someone, regardless of reason. Her speech inspires the official to call and confess to his stepsister. Despite the weird turn of events, Olivia believes that the interview was a success. The next morning, Mario wakes up before Eva. He tells her he'll head to the theater first, and that she needs to lock the door properly so the cat won't escape. Eva is still too hungover at this point. When Eva finally leaves the apartment, the cat slips out the door. Since she can't open the door again to take the cat back in, she carries it and brings it to the theater. In the dressing room, Mario once again tries to tell Olivia the truth about the cat. However, he gets interrupted when he sees Eva carrying Milov. Mario immediately rushes to Eva's dressing room. We find out that Eva realized who the cat really belongs to. She leaves the theater, not wanting to see the drama that might happen soon. Mario tries to convince Ernest to cancel the rehearsal just for the day. Since it's too early in the morning, Ernesto insists that they continue to rehearse. At one point, we see the cleaning lady enter the dressing room where the cat is, causing it to escape. Back on the stage, Olivia and Mario go off script, choosing to have fun instead of actually practicing. They end up kissing again, so Ernesto leaves them alone to go for a smoke. While on the floor, Mario admits that he regrets breaking up with Olivia. Likewise, Olivia admits that they broke up for a stupid reason. When they continue to kiss, the cat walks past them and gets on the couch. When Olivia sees the cat, Mario has no choice but to admit that he lied about Milo of being deceased. After Olivia hugs the cat, she turns to Mario and expresses her anger. The fact that she's wearing boxing gloves as part of the rehearsal makes the situation more dangerous for Mario. She ends up knocking him out. However, during the aftermath of the fight, the cat gets hit by the punching bag. In the next scene, a veterinarian is inspecting the unconscious cat. Later, he tells Olivia and Mario that their cat is in a coma, and there's a 50-50 chance for it to wake up. When leaving the vet clinic, Olivia tells Mario not to come back to the theater, because he's out of the play. Mario responds by pointing out that the producer, Ernesto, will decide whether he stays or not. With that, the ex-lovers declare war on each other. In the next scene, Mario is at a bar full of goths for a stand-up comedy performance. This time, his speech is full of emotion. He is recalling real-life events that happened recently. He starts talking about the different harmful pranks that Olivia has done to him in the past few days. When he takes off his hat, we see a drawn on his forehead. Likewise, we learn that Mario pranks Olivia in a similar manner. During a flashback, we see Mario asking Danny to take a picture of his asshole, so he can send it to Olivia. During the performance, Olivia passes a drink around until it reaches Mario. When he takes a sip of it, he immediately spits it out, realizing it has been laced with Tabasco. Olivia exits quietly, but peeks a little, just to see Mario in agony. Fast forward to the night of the theater performance, Olivia and Mario are arguing inside the dressing room. Ernesto is sick of their banter, so he tells them to stop fighting and get ready for the show. After he leaves, the ex-lovers continue to insult each other before wishing each other good luck, maliciously. When the play begins, Olivia and Mario reenact the first time they met. This time, however, Mario crashes into Olivia with more force, causing the audience to gasp. As they progress through the play, Olivia and Mario continue their pranks. In the scene where they reenact getting drunk, they've replaced each other's drinks with different liquids, such as vinegar, soap, Tabasco, and even semen. For a short while, we see the veterinarian trying to call Mario, because the cat is awake. However, his phone is in the toilet bowl, likely because Olivia placed it there. Back at the play, Mario gives Olivia one last drink. After she drinks it, he reveals that it's almond milk, something that Olivia is allergic to. She panics and asks Mario for an adrenaline shot. After messing around, he finally hands her the adrenaline, and she stabs her leg with it. This is when Mario reveals that what he gave her was just syrup, and not almond milk. The audience thinks that they are watching a scripted scene, when in fact the ex-lovers have been improvising since the scene began. In the next scene, Ernesto is hanging out with Augusto and Danny. He receives a call from Eva telling him that Mario and Olivia are fighting on stage. At the same time, Danny receives a call from the veterinarian telling him about the state of the cat. Ernesto then decides that going to the vet first to retrieve the cat is the best course of action. Back at the performance, Mario and Olivia reenact the first time they kissed. For a split second, we see the passion between Mario and Olivia. It's clear that they still have feelings for each other, they are just in denial. While the play continues at the theater, Ernesto and Danny are outside with the cat trying to get back to the theater. They end up hitching a ride with a strange individual. 
Their driver places a police light on top of the car and drives as fast as possible towards the theater. Back at the play, Olivia and Mario are at the last part. She cracks jokes about how bad Mario is in bed. While Mario pours his heart out, taking the time to tell everyone how heartbroken he was after the breakup, the audience is amazed by his acting. Suddenly, Olivia starts gasping for air. She's having an allergy attack and cannot breathe. Mario panics and tells her once more that he never put almonds in her drinks. Eventually, Olivia falls to the crowd unconscious, and the curtains are lowered. Eva rushes to the stage and tells Mario that Olivia is not breathing. He then tells Eva to go and call a doctor. Eventually, Olivia opens her eyes and talks to Mario. She tells him that now he knows what it feels like when they think someone they love has lost their life. Instead of getting angry at Olivia for the horrific prank, he just feels happy that Olivia is alive. The ex-lovers finally drop their facade and surrender to their true feelings as they engage in passionate kissing. After they finish kissing, their cat appears beside them, and they reunite as one happy family. In the final scene of the play, Mario and Olivia dance to some loud music while their cat and the audience watch in amusement. At the end of the movie, Olivia still gets married to Matt for his citizenship. However, when the official announces that the newlyweds can kiss, Olivia turns to Mario and kisses him instead.